Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a video about privacy and especially the general privacy that you have in the settings. So in Windows 10 Fall Careers Update, of course, one of the things that is being tweaked around is the privacy settings. A lot of people talked about it. Some people say, man, maybe you better revisit the privacy settings. They have changed. Some have actually reset to default. That is true. Some settings that you were actually probably personalizing somewhat are changed back to default in Fall Careers Update. So I thought, yeah, we'll revisit them again because I think it's important. So one of the first that you'll see is a general tab. So let's go into the settings here. Go into privacy. And in the privacy, you will see the first option is general. And there are four interesting little on-off switches here in the privacy. So first of all, the first privacy setting is let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting to you. So what is that? If you use a Microsoft account, what's happening is that your account is also uh, associated with a advertising identification. That means it kind of knows what you look at, what you search for, and the apps that you um, you know uh, download and the apps that you use. So basically, it kind of wants to try to advertise things to you. Uh, that might be appealing. So you know, some apps, some apps have uh, some set, some uh, ads in it. Uh, well, these ads will be more of what you want to see rather than all sorts of you know different ads that might not be interesting. So this is really a ad tracker basically, and it's an ad tracker that's a little bit inside Windows 10. So of course that might not interest you. Personally, I leave it on because the ads are still going to be there if you, if, even if you turn it off. And that you got to understand. You're not turning off the ads, but you're turning off the possibility to know you better. And personally, I'd rather have an ad about something that might be interesting than have an ad about whatever I don't care. So I keep it on for that. But of course, you might want to switch it off if you are concerned about the tracking that is done in it. So you can turn it off and the tracking that goes with the advertising ILD will stop. Let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. That means you've got multiple languages on your device, you use Microsoft Edge. Well, what's going to happen is, of course, with the location, it knows where you are and it kind of knows the businesses around you. So if you are searching for pizza places in Edge and you are, of course, um, you know, whatever language you are, uh, speaking, so for example, you have I have French and English. It will give you relevant content on all of these languages around you, close to you, and that's because the location is of course tracked, and this little tab here will actually try to get it in the language that you prefer. Let Windows track app launches to improve start and search results. This, of course, is to Kind of customize your start. So basically, the more apps you use, so you see here, I've got most used. Uh, this is the kind of thing that is going to be affected by let Windows track the app launches. So it's going to improve the start menu, of course. So you'll have more of the suggestions of the apps you use, like the most used, for example. And also in the search results for Cortana, for example, if you use specific apps, there will be more of these that are going to uh, basically, um, you know, follow what apps you are using. So, for example, if there is a search that you're doing and it can be done in an app that you use regularly, it will actually come up in the results. And finally, show me suggested, suggested content in the settings app. This one is um, more of an ad than anything else. So what happens is here you've got on the app list the possibility to get suggestions and these are from the Windows Store so that means it's ads directly within your start menu this one I tend to say just turn it off because you know I try to get and I think everybody including me wants to have a Windows 10 with the least amount of advertising in it and I think this is just plain ads within the start menu and uh, of course you know it, they try to suggest you apps 
that go with the apps that you already use, but still, I don't want, you know, I, I'll search myself for apps if I want them. So show me suggested uh, content in the um, settings app. I think this one is good to turn off. And of course, um, one of the things that you could do is manage your info that's stored in the cloud. When you click this, it brings you to your Microsoft account on the cloud. There's a lot of information in there uh, that is actually managed and saved about you. So you might want to check that out. And of course, the regular privacy statement telling you how all of that impacts privacy here too. Also, you can learn more and have more information about what these options actually uh, change in the privacy of your accounts and your usage of Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you so much for following us on this channel.